So uh, from Japan to Korea to mm. America comes Old Boy. Uh, when did you first become familiar with this story? A long time ago, probably in 2004, after it had come out. Um, Chanwook Park's Old Boy and Lady Vengeance and that trilogy um, I saw um, contiguously. And uh, it was really, I was blown away by, I don't think it's necessarily his best film, but I think every film that Chanwick Park, director Park makes is so smart and so tonally kind of brilliant. And so there was no idea of like, oh, we should remake this or we should do a rendition of this story, this magna or whatever. Um, but I was trying to get him to direct a movie that I did called Jonah Hex, which I think would have been wonderful had he directed it. Um, and so I got to know him a little bit, and then Spike and I have been looking for a movie to do, and this came to Spike, and then he came to me, and then it all was incestuous and whatever. <laughs> Appropriately yeah. so. Appropriately so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, so for the, uh, the fan base of the uh, original first film, mm -hmm. uh, how do we uh, put a twist on it here in America? What's the difference between the two? I don't, the, with the big twist, there's not a lot of difference. I think it comes at a different time, and I think tonally it's a very different movie than the original, and I think purposefully so. I don't think that could have helped but have been the, been the case because it's Spike, and Spike kind of can't help but, you know, beat to his own drum, you know, and so that's why I think he was the appropriate person to do this. But, you know, people are going to make comparisons and all that because it's based on the same magna, mm -hmm. and that's okay. And the haters are okay, and the likers are okay, and the lovers are okay, and the uh, it was okay are okay. Um, as long as we did a film, I think, that creates a visceral reaction, that's, that was our... Uh, that was our real, in, you know, our only intention, really. Yeah, well, I think Spike Lee does that well. I mean, Summer of Sam is one of my favorite films. There you go. I mean, so creepy. Right, really it's creepy. Really. Um, so what is it about him, you think, in your opinion, that makes him the best director to have done this? Film? I don't know if they, they, I don't think there's a best director or a best actor. It was just what we did, you know. Us coming together, I think we very much appreciated each other's work. And, um, you know, I... I, I I like people that have that experimental nature. I just worked with Paul Thomas Anderson. He oh, very much has that too. Yeah. Um, a lot of the guys that I work with are, are like that. And I just enjoy being around it because it's dangerous. It's emotionally dangerous. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You know, you're hoping that when they get in the editing room, they have enough. I've put enough garbage out there for them to try and cut together something that's... Uh, that's tangible, you know. About, uh, what was it like to square off with Samuel L. Jackson? Great. He's amazing. I mean, he's amazing. He's, you know, he's iconic to me. So it was a little distracting at first, but then we got to know each other, and, and he was just a joy, a joy to work with, a lot of fun. Yeah. What's twerking? Oh, well, you'll just have to look that up. You have to Google twerking. I'm... I have to Google twerking. Everybody knows what this is, and I don't. Yeah. Yeah.